Okay, I'm going to give you a really, really quick overview of the caged system. The caged system is a way to play chords and scales up and down the neck to connect the entire fretboard, either in one key or for one type of chord. So, for instance, um, well, let's start out with this. Caged stands for C A G E D, five open chords, right? So C A G E D. Now, if you don't know um, those chord forms, you can easily find them on the net. So, what you can do then is take those five forms to play the same chord in different positions on the neck. Say, for instance, we want to play five different forms of a C major chord. Well, we've got C. Okay, the next letter in caged, C, A. So you take an open A chord, but put it up at the third fret and bar it. That's a C chord now, okay? The next letter in caged, C, A, G. So you've got a G chord. I'm gonna refinger it so I have a free index finger with a bar. Move it up to the eighth fret with a bar behind it. And now I've got a C chord again. It's a G shape, but a C chord. The next letter, C, A, G, E, open E, I'm gonna refinger it, I'm gonna play it at the eighth fret, now it's a C chord. Um, C, A, G, E, D, D would be the last one. There's an open D chord, you refinger it, you play it up here, and now it's a C chord. So you've got C, 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 and C. Now you can do the exact same thing with scales. There are five basic forms of the diatonic scale and each form of that scale fits under one of those chord shapes. So for this open C chord, we've got a shape that goes like this. And this chord is embedded into it. Each one of the notes of this chord is in that scale. form our A form but still a C chord we have this scale next form which is your G form still in the key of C still playing a C chord next form which is your E form you've got the scale next form is your D form you get this form of the scale. Right? So, you can do that with any chord um, or any major key. And if you know all your major keys, then you know the relative minors and all the modes too. Um, so let me do one more quick example. Say instead of the key of C, we wanted to do B flat. Okay, we wanted to do five B flat chords and five B flat scales. Well, if I try to figure out the, um, a B-flat chord that's closest to the headstock so that I can work my way up the fretboard, just so that it's easier to see, I would pick this B-flat chord, which is actually an open A shape, moved up a fret with a bar. Okay, so there's our B-flat chord. Now that's in an A shape, so the next letter in caged is G. So I'd go to this one, which is still a B-flat chord. The next one is A, G, E. The next form would be the D form, which is right there, and that's still a B flat. Okay, so then our scales would correspond. So you've got then we've got then we got this form. It's our E form. And then also, we're going to have a C form, which is going to be right here at the 11th fret, and I'm going to put a bar behind it, so it's a C chord with a bar, and now it's a B flat chord. And uh, the form behind that is going to be this. And at that point, then, you can start over and play the A shape all the way up here at the 13th fret. And so then play that same scale position up here, etc. So if you had an infinitely long fretboard, it just keeps circling around. Hope that helps. Um, a good resource would be a book called Fretboard Logic. I'm sure you can find those five shapes and the five chord forms.